Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision and today we're going to create patterns. I'm going to show you how it's done. We're going to make it with a rhombus. It looks luxurious. It's a luxurious uh, kind of design that I just found out today, you know, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So, before we jump in, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notif notification bell. So, let's jump in. Alright, first thing first, we're going to and delete the fill by pressing this or you can uh, press the dash or what is it called and now we have the stroke activated usually when you create a rectangle or whatever usually the stroke is inside you know a line stroke to inside we don't want this basically in the, the new adobe products uh, the stroke is inside i know i don't know why so what we're gonna want to do is align stroke to center we align the stroke to center, we're gonna select the rectangle tool and we're gonna create a square. How are you gonna do this perfectly? You know, you're gonna press, if you're making a square like this, it's gonna be imperfect. So you wanna press shift and then you wanna, so as you can see it, now it's creating it uh, perfectly. And then you wanna press alt also, so it's gonna isolate it like this. Okay, we got this word square. From here, we're gonna make a new copy out of this and we're gonna flip it. Press shift and flip it to the right or left. It doesn't matter, it needs to look like this. Okay, right now, we're gonna create the triangle out of this thing <coughs> by how, how I do this. It can be done by multiple ways. So, how I do this is with, um, with the pen tool. You can see here, we got the pen tool by pressing the minus you're gonna see that at the pen tool it appears a minus with this you can cut out anchor points um, like this so it's gonna create a triangle if you press uh, the plus it's gonna add anchor points we don't want that uh, I usually put it here so I can see it I just click it and we're ready to, ready to go basically so yeah, we got the triangle. As you can see, it doesn't... Uh, the bounding box is like this. Because we just rotated that one. So we're gonna arrange the bounding box by going to the object, transform and reset bounding box. So you can see now the bounding box is horizontal. It's not uh, like how it was. So anyways, we got the triangle. We're gonna create a new copy out of this. And uh, from here, we're gonna make a copy of this triangle again so go to object sorry not object go to edit copy and again edit paste in front you can paste it in front you can paste it in back it doesn't matter it's the same object in this case <clears throat> so we got two objects now we're going to decrease this uh somewhere around here okay let me and now we're going to select both of them. We're going to go to objects. We're going to go to blend. You can see the pattern also there. We're going to go to the blend, make. We're going to see like three, 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 three triangles. Damn, that number three is like weird too. Uh, anyways, you can see the blend tool option in here. In the right, you're going to double click on it. You're going to click previews. You're going to click specified steps and you can see you can increase the number of uh, the triangles. Uh, I gotta, I gotta basically have like four of these, and we good. From here, we're gonna create another copy. Of course, press Alt and Shift and drag it to the right, and we're gonna expand this one. Like, go to Object, Expand, OK, and we're gonna expand it again go to uh, object expand and as you can see we got like these spikes going on in here when we uh, created this multiple shapes what we're gonna do is cut these down by pressing shift plus M or you can select it from the menu long clicking on this uh, icon and selecting the shape builder tool uh, <clears throat> usually uh, so as you can see right now it has a plus near the what is that uh, arrow little arrow and if you press and hold the alt it's gonna appear as minus with this you can cut out the forms with plus you can uh, mold the forms together 
So what people usually do is hold and press Alt and they draw it like this. You know, uh, you can do it faster and more easier by pressing Shift plus Alt and creating this box and you just go like this. It's quicker and it's easier. We're gonna go and do the same thing with this. Shift plus M, Shift plus Alt, and there you go. We're gonna merge these together. You're gonna have some unwanted um, thingies in here after you know cutting. So we basically need to keep clean this out. You can go to uh, again to the delete anchor points tool, of course, which you can find it here too in the pen tool because. Uh, you know, I just uh, click on these anchor points and cut them out gently and we cleaned it out so we won't have any problems later on. Cleaned. Okay, we are going to create another copy by press and hold alt and then press and hold shift also. So you're going to create a copy like this and press shift to, to rotate this. And we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna place this around here. We're gonna select both, press Shift plus M or select it from the menu, the Shape Builder tool and do the same thing, cut these out. Okay, we're gonna, what is that called, unite. We're gonna unite these. So if we unite these, we, we can't like separate them anymore. So we're gonna unite it and now it created a, created a one piece, like a one single form. The Pathfinder, usually you can find in the windows and you can see the Pathfinder. Shift Control plus F9. Anyways, so you can see we got the rhombus. I'm gonna create a crop, copy and press Shift and rotate it. Now this is even more fancy. And now we're gonna go into the Pathfinder magic and go to the objects and uh, I'm go to pattern, sorry, pattern, not pathfinder. And we're gonna click make. And as you can see, we can, uh, you know, see a lot of stuff going on in here. It created some kind of patterns. And this is good. Uh, I'm gonna show you a different one. You can select the grids here. So this is the brick by row. This is how we're going to do it. You got like other crazy stuff going on also like this. Basically, this does the same thing. Hexagon by row, you know, but if you have like different forms, then um, now we're going to go to the height and we're going to decrease the height. Just scroll and it's going to be good. This is good also. You can see the lines are a little bit, a little bit more thicker, but if you decrease more, it's going to have the lines the same as uh, these lines are. I think I'm, I'm going to leave, leave a little bit more space going on and just click done. Done. OK, we're going to create another rectangle by pressing shift. You can see we got a black box going on here. And we're going to fill this with uh, the pattern. You're going to go here to the swatches. And you can see there's a new swatch going on, a new pattern, and just click it. And this is the new pattern. Uh, yeah, you can create like bigger patterns, like smaller patterns. Look at that. This was a huge one. You can see right now it's pixelated, but when you export it or you do something with it, then it's gonna look clean and perfect. So if you want to add like more patterns in the square, you're just gonna click it, go to the objects, transform. Oh, sorry. Object, transform, scale. So as you can see, um, it's scaling in some ways. You're gonna have some options checked in here. What we're gonna do is uh, remain with this single option. So we're gonna uncheck this option. Usually you got like these options checked or something like that. Uh, and then go to the uniform and you know create or decrease or increase the size of the pattern so this is how you can play with the patterns um, like how much uh, a rhombus you want to add into the this amount of space so yeah this is kind of it uh, now you can see how to create a luxurious pattern thanks for watching don't forget to like and like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye